the, the main difference is every country in, in Europe has their own country FA with their own state affairs, with their own vision, with their own development, with everything. Now, that means also the scouting is completely different because Belgium will scout differently than France, France than Spain and, and so further. In India, AIFF needs to do all of these. Now, you need to tell me, and again, it's, it's not pro-AIFF or against AIFF, but someone needs to tell me how AIFF is going to scout all over the country. We are in West Bengal with our club. We have at the moment, I think, just over 30 associate academies. We Thanks. have opened around five to six schools, um, and I talk football schools, uh, mm -hmm. where kids can come and train for very low fees because we are not charging lakhs of money. We are charging very low fees. Um, that everyone can try to work with the same philosophy and with the same work of, 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 of vision. And at the end, that these players can come to our club, and, and which, have, which has been happening already. Um, yeah. So at the end, this is what we are doing. And still, in West Bengal, I cannot even say that I've scouted 1% of the players. Oh. So, so then you need, you need to imagine a 30-plus school uh, academies that we're working with five schools and still not even one percent how do you want yeah. aiff to do that all over the country but there needs to come your state affairs your yes. district affairs they all need to work in the in the same line and you know the project of blue cups for example which yes. has been uh been been taught to all the coaches yeah. where they tell you um when you are under 12 you need to play i'll give an example 5v5 or yeah. you need to play maximum 7v7. Okay. Yesterday, my under-12 have to play in district, a, a, a tournament. Okay. Under-12 play, uh, local tournaments here. And they play not 5v5. They don't play 7v7, but they play 11v11. <laughs> so, because the district phase are not doing what AIFF is telling. So, even if AIFF is is telling you need to do it this way, this way, this way, this way. At the end, who is going to check on this tournament? Is AIFF mm -hmm. going to come to to Saltpur? That was the, the the place where we were. They're going to come there and going to come and look at an under twelve tournament. No, of course they're not going to do this, and they can't do this. It's not possible. So so it is a very difficult task, and. Belgium had the same problem in, in 2000. In 2000, we organized the Euros with the Netherlands. And yeah. we were the very first country ever who got kicked out in the group stage. Can you imagine? So we got kicked out. We were the first ones. Now, what it happened in 2002, we didn't qualify. Okay, yeah. so we didn't qualify. We were number 79 on the FIFA ranking, close to India right now. Everyone sees Belgium as a top country. But we had our very bad period also. So yes. what did we do? Belgium FA said, we're going to change everything. Full yeah. grassroots development, we're going to change. What did the old coaches say? Yeah, but why do we need to change? We've been doing this for 50 years. Why do we need to change something? And there was a lot of problems, a lot of fights going on. And by getting new coaches, young coaches, who actually followed what the Belgium FA, together with their own vision, of course, you don't have to follow everything what they are telling you with your own vision, with your own... But they followed, Belgium has moved up. So if I look at Vision 2047, just on paper, just on paper, it is a great vision. Yeah. Honestly. You need to be honest. Whoever reads it, it is a great vision. Yes. It is a long-term vision, but it is yeah. good. Yeah. Now, what on paper is being done does not mean it is being done on the pitch. Yes. And this is the example that I just gave of our under-12 that normally have to play 5v5 because they're on the under-30. They should be playing 5v5. Yeah. And they are playing 11v11 on a big size pitch. So then AIFF can say whatever they want to say. If it is not happening inside the country, it is very difficult. And it's, it's that tricky. whole thinking process that needs to change and that needs to start with the young coaches who are starting now. And they need to convince in their club, their older coaches, to say, hey, we need to do this because this is the better way. And that will, one of the problems you have here is 
a young coach, this is part of your of your how do I say that your mindset, part yeah. of your your way of of living, is yes. a younger person will not disagree with an older person. Yeah. But for the betterment, sometimes you have to. Sometimes yes. you need today to say we need to do it differently because if tomorrow you come to Belgium as a coach, the youngest age, I'm talking you're in the fives, you're in the sixes, are playing 2v2. No one is allowed to do 11v11. No so one is allowed me. to do... You understand? So yeah. we, we had the same problem. When I heard about this in the beginning, I was like, well, why am I going to do this? I adapted, I worked in it, and I saw the difference. So it's the yeah. same here. You need to you need to dare to change, and that is a big, big issue here, and will take a lot of time for everyone to look in the same direction. 